Continue our coverage tonight on the race for lieutenant governor, the second highest office in the state. Yesterday, we met with Democratic candidate Molly Gray. Today, Local 22's Jolie Sherman spoke with Republican Scott Milne. I believe uh, I've got experience and I know what people are going through. Scott Milne has spent three decades leading Milne Travel, a family owned travel management company whose network of clients and employees expands across the nation. He says he's seen firsthand the devastating economic impacts of the pandemic. I'm in the travel and tourism business, which is the largest employer of people on the planet, a vital part of Vermont's economy, and that's been decimated by COVID. With his eyes set on economic recovery, Milne says if elected, he'll enact what's called Progress VT. We've got a plan, Progress VT. I would argue I'm the only person in this race with the plan. 60 ideas that I think are going to make Vermont a better place. These ideas include? Eliminating pensions on Social Security, military retirements, uh, making child care more affordable simply by borrowing some ideas from New Hampshire that I think are good ideas, expanding rural broadband with some simple ideas. In 2014, Milne lost the race for governor, coming within 2,500 votes of becoming the first candidate to defeat an incumbent Vermont governor since 1962. But right now, Milne is focused on the final days of his campaign. Uh, if you're uh, a person or a business or an organization like state government and you're not changing, you're by definition falling behind. Uh, we need to be a state with progress. I asked Milne the same question I asked Molly Gray. A vote for Milne is a vote for, and he said, A uh, reliable and trusted partner for Governor Scott and somebody who will be able to uh, hit the, hit the uh, on day one, hit the ground running with a uh, comprehensive understanding of our economy how government and private business works together and what we need to do to get our economy back on track. Jolie Sherman, Local 22 News, Newport. For a deeper dive on Milne's challenger, Molly Gray, head to our website, mychamplainvalley.com.